Chelsea welcome Brighton and Hove Albion to Kings Meadow with the Blues unbeaten at the start of the new WSL season. They have a fantastic home record in the league too. The last team to beat them here were Brighton. That was way back in February 2021. Here's Kirby. Oh, she's hit the crossbar. How unlucky, Frank Kirby. Chelsea almost off to the perfect start. Terrific effort. Bremer. First opportunity for Brighton to cross halfway, really. Pinto moved it wide. Bremer's carried on a run here, and here she is, and she's put Brighton in front. Their first attack. And they're at it again at King's Meadow. It's a really well-worked goal, you'd have to say. Bremer started it and she finished it too. Well, plenty of time for Chelsea to respond. Here's Kirby. Found a pocket of space. Now Sam Kerr, decent cross that. And Nuskin almost equalised immediately. Badly able to deny it. She's able to win it back through Perisic. And Perisic could be through here. Oh, she slipped the pass for Kerr instead. And again, Bagley's equal to it. Danger's not over yet. And Brighton eventually able to get it to safety. Excellent running from Perisic. Kirby. Newskin in the middle. Slipped it through for Kerr. So many blue shirts in there. It's Kirby again. Oh, she's hit the crossbar again. And then Perise. Still it won't go in. Newskin surely. Bagley there again. Incredible. Well, how on earth have Chelsea not equalised? Newskin so close. Perisay clipped it deep to the back post. And headed back towards Kerr and Bagley's there again. Well, she's only playing because Nikki Everard can't against her parent club, but Sophie Bagley is making her case. Ball has been taken short and quickly. Lauren James. Deep sniff at that from James and Bright couldn't quite turn it in fast stick. Well, this all came from Perisay's free kick when somehow the ball stayed out of the net. From the corner, James looking to bend one. Didn't quite get it to kill back far enough. Newskin trying to win it back. Bremer, not again, surely. Well, that's a big save from Anne Catherine Berger. Right and close to going 2 0 up. Good play from Robinson. And his touch just got away from it. James took the free kick short into Kirby. She's forced Carter wide with the pass. Do some help here, Jess Carter. Maybe she's not going to need it. Oh, it's a brilliant cross in towards Joka Nuskin, who gets her first Chelsea goal. And the Blues are back level in first half stoppage time. They've been knocking at the door. And finally, it's blown open. Excellent play this from Jess Carter. Nuskin off the mark. Bright. Bashed it in hard to Kirby. Well, how about this for a run from Perisay? The goalkeeper managed to smother it again. Lovely footwork. Pinto dispossessed by Kirby. Thanks for Chelsea to stretch their legs and attack again with Perisic. Nice way to pass for Kerr. Here's Nuskin for her second. Chelsea in front. And it's Sjokin Nuskin at the double. What a big day for her. And Chelsea well on their way to turning the game around. 
from 1-0 down there, 2-1 up. Sarri, can we get round Neve Charles? Sarri's managed to get a crossover deep toward the far post. Oh, and the header didn't miss by much from Bremer. It's a big opportunity. Really good play from Sarri, the substitute. Probably ought to have been 2-2. Two -two. Jankovic did well. Nuskin. Chelsea looking menacing again here. It's broken out for Nuskin. Good block on the line. Jankovic. How many Brighton bodies are back there? Ingle. Here's Kerr. And it's in. And it's Nuskin again. She's got a hat trick. Unbelievable. Sjurka Nuskin, this is her day. Chelsea kept it alive. Brighton had so many players back there, but eventually Kerr was able to work it into Nuskin. Lozada. Oh, that's a poor pass, easily picked off. Here's Sam Kerr. Can Chelsea score again here? Canarid beaten away by the keeper. Oh, and blazed over inexplicably by Jesse Fleming. Well, she doesn't need me to tell her that that ought to have been a goal and 4 1. Again, the approach plays really good from Chelsea. And Fleming not sure how she missed. Zotti couldn't get it clear. Here's Nuskin looking for a fourth of the game. She squared it instead for Aggie Beaver Jones. What a moment. Her first Chelsea goal, the Academy graduate with a goal in the WSL to put the seal surely on victory now. Unselfish from Nuskin. She knows she's taking the match ball home anyway. And now Beaver Jones with a moment to remember. Funny, couldn't quite get to that. There might be a goal back here for Brighton. There is for Turland. As we tick over to 90 minutes, it's not going to mean much in the grand scheme of things, but it's some consolation for Brighton. We'll make the scoreline more respectable. Elizabeth Turl and the Norwegian off the bench to pinch a goal late on. And that's it, it's all over. Chelsea utterly dominant despite having to come from behind. Well worth the three points here. It's Jürgen Nuskin's day. Chelsea have beaten Brighton by four goals to two. What pleased you the most about the team performance, the fact they came from 1-0 down to get the win? I thought we, after the goal, 15 minutes in, it was relentless pressure from us. Hit the bar a couple of times. Pleased that we got a goal just before half-time. Impressive performance from Nuskin and the hat-trick. First goal for Aggie Beaver-Jones. Again, players coming from the bench, making an impact. I think we got work to do in and around the transition pieces. Team know that. But I think sometimes we're, we, want, we want to score more goals, um, but we mustn't leave ourselves short in certain areas. But also the league's getting better, so uh, we have to respect that. Knowing that Brighton are a team that like to score within the first 15 minutes, how quickly did Chelsea need to hit back after that first goal winning? Well, first of all, the goal was offside. So, um, you know, the, talk about that. It was offside goal, but nonetheless, the team recovered well from it. And I think a second half, really dominant performance. Um, sloppy goal at the end, but I thought we got tired. And we, it was our game management more than anything else. Yeah, you make technical errors off of that. But that's something, listen, they're a great group and everybody will, you know, build on the good things and just hope they all come back in one piece after international break. Is game management a concern for you right now? It's not enough games, I only played four games, it's still very early but I think you, you always got to have balance and that's I think one thing I've got to address, the team needs balance both sides of the ball and that's something I'm sure we will improve upon. And finally, you talked about the goal scorers today and you're just getting her, we're calling it an honorary hat-trick and Aggie getting her first goal this season. How pleasing is it for you to have the goals spread around the team? Yeah, absolutely. These young players coming through, are really, they're offering a lot and they're the future for Chelsea. And I think it was very clear and evident for everyone to see today 
and it's great for us to have this this level of depth because they're all going to be needed throughout the year. Congratulations. Let's talk about the team first. What a performance from the team this afternoon. What did you make of it? It was a great team performance, I think. Um, everyone did it very well. So, uh, yeah, I'm very happy about the game and uh, to score three goals. Yeah. You're very happy about the game because you played a big part in that game. How special is it? to get your honorary hat-trick on home soil here today? Yeah, it's very special. With the fans, it's so nice. Yeah, I'm very happy. And the fans as well, you've talked about how special to score in front of them and also hearing the noise when you score a goal. Yeah, it was very nice. All were screaming, I heard my names. So it was so nice, yeah. And final question. Uh, your first match playing a full 90 minutes. How's your body? How are you feeling? Um, I'm dead. <laughs> My legs are hurting. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm run a lot. Um, so yeah, I think uh, I did it great well, I think. <laughs> um, yeah, but yeah, I'm dead. <laughs> Congratulations and well done.